Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to. Most people call you man namumu. Why do they call you man namumu? Um, I just let me accept it as my stage name. So how did it start? Uh if I start telling you this story, it's going to be. Just summarize it. It's, it's going to be catalog. Just <laughs> summarize. Okay. It just started. Just, uh, just. <clears throat> It's like a play. Uh, we were together sometime. That's far back. Uh, it's almost 30 years ago or 14 or 15 years ago. We were shooting somewhere and everybody was telling the story. And then I was, I was living with my friend somewhere in Lagos, far back, uh, Yano Basai. And something happened. Something happened while I was inside the bus. A police at the checking point was checking people and the rest of them, you know. The guy came, asked the driver about his license. The guy, the guy produced the license and he asked another question again, where is the, where is the, what's it called? The, ID card. Yes, yes. Not, not ID card. He's the yeah, extinguisher. Yeah, extinguisher. Oh, extinguisher. Uh, the extinguisher. You know why he was doing that? Other cars were passing, but uh, other uh, uh, the KK people were passing. At the time, I didn't even know whether I used to keep keep my uh, the bus driver down or to chase after the KK and the rest of them. By the time we know, he, he's all uh, he has gone over to the the KK guy, no, the Okada man. I was asking them. I said, "Why did you have to leave your roof open, Okada man? No, Okada man." After you know, as I know, as I, as I, as I, as I, as I say, why did you say, why did you leave your roof open? I said, the guy has never had roof before. He saw like what with the, so inside us, everybody was laughing. And we saw the kind of, you see the kind of confusion that the guy had. I said, nah, say man, nah, mumu. You know, the word just came like that. And I was just, and the man was actually mumu. Anyway, it's not like a man that will go marry fat woman. He can marry fat woman, come for house. Before they do it, don't they complain about your cushion? Your awful stray, your set that the woman they collapse, they said, say, now they change your city every six months. Now, a person first to make you carry, you got a person who get big dash. So, we'll be mumu, man, not real mumu. I want to check the philosophical meaning, you go see, say, man, not real mumu. Now, I want to find out from you can someone fully depend on acting for survival? Yes, of course, it's a professional course. It's a professional course. But you know, you don't limit yourself to such that area of entertainment, especially when you have when you are getting to a particular point in your life. You can be acting to open the doors for you. And when the favors start coming from somewhere, you should be able to invest in one or two other things. Believing that the way you are might not be the way you're going to be in future. At least you must consider the time for old age. When you are active, there will be rule coming from everywhere, coming from everywhere because you are you are active. There will be a time when you will not be active. So even when the roles are coming, you will be limited to a particular point where they will ask you to play like a father or a king or whatever. So you should be thinking of how you can switch over to other things that relate to entertainment. Like somebody like me, I have a hospitality business where I serve people food, I serve bands, and the rest of them. Then I distribute drinks. So I don't just sit down and just watch until when the thing don't go somewhere. Supposing what happens to you, maybe you had an accident and you cannot, you are paralyzed. What would you do? So in as much as it's a profession, it's good for somebody to have something. <laughs> you, must, you must find something. You must find something that will keep you on. In case there's any disadvantage, not even disadvantage, because as you're growing up, as you're growing up in the business, you should be thinking of not just expanding your person or your career in acting. You should be talking about how you can get to another point of entertainment. Like uh, for me, I want to be producing movies. I want to be executive producers where I bring out my money, call a director, a producer to work to do my work for me, and that's the big part of the career. When you are on top there, you employ people. You employ people. So I don't think it's good for somebody to limit his, uh, to limit the business to just, uh, just yeah, career alone. Okay.